2D profiles can be used to create 3D objects in a variety of ways. The most commonly used tools to create 3D objects from profiles are the Simple Extrude, Rail Sweep, and Revolve. The Simple Extrude simply adds height to a 2D profile. To use the Simple Extrude tool, first check the profile to be sure there are no gaps or intersections, as these will not allow the tools to work properly. If the profile has any gaps or intersections, be sure to clean them up with the 2D Modify tools. When using TurboCAD Deluxe, the profile will need to be a closed polyline. If the profile is made up of segments and arcs, you will need to use the Join Polyline tool first. Now that the profile is closed, you can use the Simple Extrude tool. After selecting the Simple Extrude tool, pick the profile you would like to extrude. Like most tools in TurboCAD, the operation can either be finished with a mouse click or by entering data into the inspector bar below the drawing area. In TurboCAD Professional, there is an option to use a compound profile. When using a compound profile, segments and arcs do not need to be joined as polylines. And when multiple profiles are chosen, the inner profiles will be subtracted from the outer profiles, creating holes in the 3D object. Keep in mind that some changes to profiles can cause unwanted results in the extruded object. For example, if you explode a circle into polylines before extruding, the results will be faceted while a circle that remains intact will extrude into a cylinder. While the rules for the profiles are the same for all profile tools, some of them work a bit different. The rail sweep creates a 3D object by dragging the profile along a path. The profile will remain perpendicular at all times when using the rail sweep. To use the rail sweep tool, first pick the profile, then the path. As you can see, this is kind of like making pasta or playing with Play-Doh. The revolve tool creates a 3D object by spinning the profile around an axis. First select the profile then pick two points for the axis. To create a helix from the revolved object, go into the object's properties. Under Revolution Shape, add a pitch and choose the number of coils you would like. This results in a spring-like object. That will conclude today's demo. For more great videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.